You know, I always start the day all peppy and great. Humans are great, I love everybody. But in the afternoon, I just wanna kill someone and I could get away with it too. Hey everybody, Trace here for DNews. Ethics researchers, they got a fascinating profession. They spend the day asking questions like, where does morality live? In the brain, in the soul? somewhere else? Well, firstly, morality lives in the right hemisphere of the brain, funnily enough, near the surface, uh, here-ish. Yeah, it doesn't live in a soul or whatever. Researchers in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found using transcranial magnetic stimulation, they could sort of screw with people's morality. It turns out when they use a magnet to stimulate or block blood flow in that part of the human brain, our morality compass gets all wonky and we can't tell what's right or wrong. Morality is a complicated thing. Mark Hauser of Harvard University is an evolutionary biologist who believes morality is kind of like language. We're born with an innate ability to decode it, but how it's applied really depends on our upbringing. The understanding of what is moral has a lot to do with the intent of the person acting. We know that dogs can't really be immoral because they don't know any better. Sometimes it can be the same with certain humans, especially if brain damage is involved. We have to be able to comprehend a range of emotions to really get morality, shame, empathy, compassion, and guilt, as well as reasoning skills. The researchers put it to their subjects like this. Who is immoral? Someone who accidentally broke three cups or someone who purposefully broke two cups? If you had the transcranial magnet to your head, you, like a three-year-old, would pick the person who broke more cups because your brain wouldn't understand the morality of purposeful destruction. Ha, ah, that's crazy. Knowing morality isn't some higher power based infallibility can help us learn a lot about humanity. For instance, recently researchers from Harvard University and the University of Utah discovered that we are actually more prone to lie, cheat, and steal in the afternoon. It's true, morality gets worn out. Starting with the assumption that we get physically worn down throughout the day, the researchers hypothesized our morality will also experience wear and tear. They called the phenomenon morning morality, or the human tendency to be honest before noon. Kind of sounds like a band name, doesn't it? Hey, we're Morning Morality, here's our first single, Just Say No! <laughs> it's super weird, right? Different groups of college-aged participants were given the same test, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. The afternoon group, they cheated more often. In another experiment, the researchers tested people's ability to solve an unsolvable math problem. People in the afternoon, they said they solved it. Does knowing all this change your feelings on morality? Would Morning Morality be a good band name? <laughs> Tell us your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to DNews because you know, it's the right thing to do.